All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of lessons um, that involve uh, for reading. You've seen most of my lessons be with uh, math and things along those lines. So I really wanted to look at this specific article with you guys um, because a lot of our reading right now is about some pretty important subjects, some pretty um, heavy topics, as we say. And usually in the classroom, we have some amazing discussions and chats and uh, are able to really work this stuff out in our heads together. But without being able to do that, I just wanted to go over some of this with you. So I'm going to actually read the article aloud. Um, please feel free to read along with me or to read it yourself. And then we have some questions, but I just really want to talk together and have us think and not just read this article and read some of these articles and then act, you know, kind of forget about them. Um, in Seattle, um, after uh, something called World War II, there was a lot of racism against uh, Asian Americans. And I even have to say, I, I hesitate to say that because you can see by the uh, title of the article, it even says there are different opinions. Um, but regardless, it's something that we want to be aware of and something that we want to develop, um, our thinking as we grow into fourth graders and as we grow into high schoolers and older that we want to be allies to all people of all descents, of all ethnicities, of all races, and really be, you know, active community members that welcome everyone and know that we're all part of this community together. So this title of this article is there are many different opinions. Opinion is what you think is something. You know, we've done opinion writing such as ice cream is the best food, pizza is the best food, things like that. There are many different opinions about the term Asian American. And um, right here, you can see in the picture, it's uh, a few different young women it says members of the fairfax chinese dance troupe wait beneath an umbrella for their cue to perform at fiesta asia a cultural celebration on pennsylvania avenue in washington dc so they are uh, performing a traditional dance and are part of a dance troupe so i'm going to read this article uh along with you guys and hopefully we can uh you know, it'll help us understand it a little better. So Washington, D.C., that is where this article, uh, the writer is and where these events were taking place. It says Washington, D.C., Fiesta Asia happens every year. It takes place in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. The event honors Asian Americans. The term Asian American includes people whose families are from dozens of different countries. The term has divided the community it was meant for, though. Some like belonging to a larger group. Others question the term. Melissa de Cuesta is 17 years old. De la Cuesta is 17 years old. She stands under a tent at Fiesta Asia. Melissa looked surprised when I asked when asked what she called herself. Isn't it obvious, she said. I'm Filipino American, she declares. She loves that her family is from the Philippines and the Philippines is a nation of islands. It is the South, it, it's in Southeastern Asia near the Pacific Ocean. Let's see if I can get these little few of these out of here so that hopefully we're able to, uh, here we go. About two thirds of Asian Americans are like Melissa. The research group AAPI data, oh, says the research group AAPI data. It studies the population of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the US AAPI says most people, I'm gonna go to the second page, most people in this group identify with their family's country. So we have our little subheading here. Who exactly is part of this group? And remember, this group specifically, they're talking about Asian American. 
There is another challenge. It is not always clear who is part of this group. Many people think of Asian Americans as those whose families are from the East Asian countries. These include China, Japan, and Korea. Indian Americans and Pakistani Americans, for example, can be left out. India and Pakistan are still part of Asia. They are less well-known countries. Dina Okamoto wrote the book, Redefining Race. She said that many people do, do not like using Asian American. They believe it takes away their individual culture. They don't believe in it really captures who they are, Okamoto says. In the past, people identified with their family's country to escape unfair treatment. For example, Japanese Americans were put in prison-like camps in the U.S. in World War II. Some Chinese Americans carried signs saying they were Chinese. They wanted others to know that they weren't Japanese. The U.S. was at war with Japan. Things changed in 1968. Activist and historian Yuji Ijioka created the term Asian American. Another subheading says getting access to Asian American history. Ijioka had sent the Black Power Movement, had seen the Black Power Movement make a difference. Okamoto says in the 1960s, African Americans joined together to fight for civil rights. Ichioka felt communities with Asian roots could also join together. Some people feel they do not have to choose one term. Jen Fang started the blog Reappropriate. She uses Asian American. She also uses Chinese American. Fang says using Asian American is popular among younger people. Often they've learned the terms activist roots. Fang went to Corn Cornell University. She described an Asian American studies class there as mind blowing. In high school, she says students read little about Asian Americans. This Cornell course had a 300 page textbook. It was all on Asian American history in the US. It takes going to college before any of us can learn about the basics, she says. That, she says, is a problem. She thinks it's important to have the chance to learn about the history of Asian Americans and the way they have changed the country. And that's what I really want us to think about as we're finishing this assignment is how, you know, what, what does this article make us think of? How do we maybe identify ourselves? Um, maybe it's Mexican American, maybe it's Cuban American, maybe it's Vietnamese American. Maybe it, it's, a, it's Hispanic American. Uh, however you choose to identify yourself, it's your identity and who you are. And we're learning a lot about the Asian American identity in the state of Washington uh, because at one point in time, there was a lot of hate towards specifically Japanese Americans because the United States was at war with Japan and that caused a lot of issues. We'll be learning more about what precise issues those cause, but I really want you to take this week to think about your own identity and how you identify, because that can be something that can be so close to your heart. I am a Caucasian American woman. Uh, Caucasian is another word for white. I'm a white woman. I have heritage. I have my family is from countries called Ireland and Croatia and things like that, but I like to call myself a white American woman. I look forward to just hearing your guys' answers and just hearing your process. Thank you.